I'm here. Let us go! We should arrive in time to have the best light of the day. The chiaroscuro we shall capture. Just glorious. Let's go. The things I do for art. We had best ride there. We'll arrive faster and less fatigued. A work of mine. Turtle dove over the heat hangs in the ducal palace. So does a cockatrice I cut down once. It's stuffed, maybe even with heather. I once had a cockatrice feather brush. Best thing for laying down tempera. I no longer have it, sadly. My blasted cat swiped it. Why would a cat want a brush? To paint with, of course. And it was no common brush. Fantastic, as I said. And fantastically expensive. Hang on. Got a cat that paints? Yeah. If you care to call it that. He merely copies the works of his betters. And poorly at that. Your cat? Yes. Pierre Auguste Moustachois. It's no surprise you've not heard of him. He's a second-rate hack and a thief. Slow now. Whoa. We'll continue on foot. Truly, I can only speak through my paintings. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, uh, forgive me for being forward, but have you perchance seen a set of paints and brushes nearby? Eugenie, I believe this peasant wants something from us. My paints, my brushes, I, I, I had prepared them, they, they were here. We've not seen any journeyman's tools, my good man. Of that, I assure you. There a problem? Yes, an immense one. I cannot possibly paint without my paints. I'm done for, unless you would be kind enough to locate them. Wouldn't happen to have another set with you? And uh, nothing you could use instead? My word. Would you really have me scrawl with charcoal like an animal? Ah, uh, damn it. Sure you left them here? Yes, right there. I'd prepared everything. Set it out. Ordered and organized. Hmm. Might have toppled downhill or something. Fine. I'll take a look around. I think it is life that imitates art. And not vice versa. Right you are, Fingal. Take Baron de Cordel for one. Oh yes, that nose. He actually had a mage enlarge it after he saw that the Reb Karelsh play. And now he's begun courting his cousin. of turpentine. Got paint drops here too. Neckers. Like they made off with the paint. Question <laughs> is.
look ruined. Painter should still be able to use them. Found your things. Splendid! Where were they? And... Hmm... Is this all you found? I left so much more. Should have kept it all with you, not left it lying around. Followed some paint tracks to a necker lair. Seems the beasts made off with your supplies. Used it to paint a fresco on one of the cave walls. Looked something like a... battle scene to me. Ugh, impossible. They splashed paint on the wall in a rage. Unimportant. In any case, it's a good thing you found the basic colors. Shall we? While waiting, I spied a superior spot. We have had fantastic luck with the weather. The light is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Painting this masterpiece gonna take long? A mere six hours. The sun won't allow us to work any longer than that. Oh, but the time will fly by. We'll chat, swap tales. Mm. Better yet, let me down a potion. Time will definitely fly by in a state of lethargy. No need to swap tales. No, no, no. Your expression, your posture, they must be just so. You must look alive with fire in your gaze. Lethargy is out of the question. <laughs> Come on, give it some thought. You could title the painting, A Witcher Lying Senselessly on the Heath. You jest. <laughs> A jesting witcher. Is the place? Yes! Just look at the view! Breathtaking! The perfect background for our masterpiece. Hmm. Pretty, I guess. Now, you must carefully consider in what pose you wish to be immortalized. All right. Considering. All is ready. We may begin. Have you decided on the pose you'd like to adopt? Maybe I could just stand, sword in hand. Ah! Splendid! A heroic pose, of course! The bold warrior, his sword held aloft, ready to run at the... Well, that willow over there. I will paint in a griffin later. Shall I begin? Or would you prefer to adopt another pose? <sighs> Go ahead. Now, 
Be so kind as to adopt that look you gave me when I first asked you to work with me. That intense scowl of an angry wild ram about to butt heads. Yes, excellent. Now, hold that. Do not budge. This gonna take much longer? Not much, not much at all. We'll run out of daylight soon. Please, keep your head still, in the same position. Fine, I'll try. I'll also try to remember to never trust a painter again. Griffin! Yeah, I know, you'll paint one in later. Gods! A Griffin! <laughs> run, and hide! Is it safe? Yeah, come on out. And no wonder no one ever came here. It was a griffin's hunting ground. Oh, that thing scared me to death! Not quite to death. You are alive. Not least because you chose a witcher to sit for you. How's the painting? It survived too? Uh, it did. But I cannot show it to you now. I never display unfinished work. You can see it tomorrow, after midday, where we met. I shall display it in the market square. Oof, monstrous beast. Shall we immortalize it in the painting? Yeah, let's add it. Carcass can serve as your prop. Splendid! Hmm, interesting color palette. And the textures, and the proportions. It will do. Yes, it will do. But I shall paint it in later, in my atelier. There's an excellent illustration in the Encyclopedia Maxima Mundi. I fear this specimen is, well, too far cut and chopped. Ah, very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the details later. No point struggling on in this fading light. Ah, I almost forgot. Payment for your troubles. And I thank you for saving my life. Though, in doing so, you did also save your likeness. Ah, for posterity.
slower. Take it easy. You, sir, are a witch? The very one the Duquesa summoned. Guilty as charged. And you gotta be someone who wants something from me. It's like you read my mind. You see, those caves are like cellars the gods carved out for their own stores. Spacious, dry, just some monster lives inside him. A soothsayer! Gods be Celted, a soothsayer. So, will you help? Might help, might not. Depends on whether we can agree on a fee. Well, nearly there. Well, nearly there. Good. Yes, so be it. Sure, I'll see to it. For the sizable reward I foresee you giving me.
digging step. So? Well? Problem solved. Shalmar that lived in the cave won't pester you anymore. Superb! I've gained a warehouse, and you've gained my gratitude. Mind showing me what you're selling? See you later. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Dripping down my bum furrow.
Yankees got their nest here.
us! Someone, please, help! What's this about? Monsters! Monsters there, in the cave! We managed to flee, but Hugo remains inside! Hugo? Our brother! He's still in there, inside! Help us find him! We'll pay you for your toil! You post that notice about an escort? Yes, we did. And not without cause, it seems. We waited some days, yet when none answered, we risked the expedition unaccompanied. Fools we were. We'd have done better to show patience. Wait! Poor Hugo. Left to an unknown fate. Noticed what attacked you? There was no time! We ran for the exit as soon as we felt the earth quiver. But Hugo, well... He went the other way. So, monsters crawl out of the ground? I... I suppose... In truth, I don't know. We just ran. Did not look back. Why do you even go in there? We... lost our way. Hmm... Mistake that cave for the high road? By the hair on my chinny chin chin, what difference does it make whether we went in for a stroll or to gather students? Hugo remains inside, in grave danger. That's what matters. Will you go in after him or not? Every second could be vital. Fine. I'll look for him. You two stay out here.
Fresh blood on the blade. Weapon was Hugo's, maybe. Blood trail. Could be Hugo's wounded. Warm and damp. Kiki Moors prefer cooler environments. Probably why they keep their distance. You, Hugo. Your brother sent me. Ja! Dizzards! Scoundrels! Tartmongers! They attacked me, but I fented them off. Now, they sent a brigand to finish the job. What are you talking about? Ran into them outside, claimed monsters attacked. They ran, made it out, but you got stuck inside. They asked me to help you. Is that what they told you? The lying weasels. More trickery on their part, I'm certain. Whoa, slow down. What's this about? Uh, I'm Hugo Monar. My father, Victor Monar, you may have heard of. A cognac distiller he was, famed for it. Before he passed, my brothers and I would quarrel over 
who would inherit the family business. So father decided he would force us to work together. He broke his still down into its parts. Three of them he hid, telling each of us the location of one. When my brothers learned my part, the last, was hidden in here, they decided they did not need me anymore. They decided to cut me out of the business. Literally. We argued, fought. The noise must have woken the beasts. My brothers ran for the mouth, while I ran deeper in. So you came here to find a piece of a still? Mean this thing? Yes! Where did you find it? Bottom of the pool of a hot spring. Really hit it well, your father. Your pay. It is not much, I know. But I promise you good prices. The best, once the tavern is open again. Hold you to that. Now let's go. Brothers are probably getting antsy. Wait, see there? My brothers! They've rounded up some thugs! They mean to attack me! We don't know that. Would you try to tell me it's a coincidence? That they return with an armed band? They've come for the last part of the still! They won't kill me for it! Please! You may only hope! Kill them! Elsewise, they'll kill me! Kill your brothers? You want that? Well... Perhaps not them, but the other roughs, for certain. As to my brothers, I don't know. You couldn't perhaps render them harmless? Ah, will you defend me? <sighs> don't have much of a choice. Thanks. A thousand thanks. I shall wait here. What are you doing? Teaching you some decency. He's gone mad! Hold him back! they deserved. Maybe they did mean well. I, for one, do not believe it. They were overcome with greed, ready to do anything to wrest the last part of the still from me. Besides, you did not kill them. They will come too, soon, having learned a valuable lesson, I trust. So what now? Uh, I fear I don't know. I can't possibly hope to rebuild my father's still. I suppose I must hang a shingle in the market, sell wine. Or perhaps I should move on, leave Toussaint. Alas, I know not and will have to see. Whatever the case, I shall not forget your help with my brothers. Time we went our separate ways. Good luck, whatever you decide to do. I thank you, Witcher. Fare thee well.